Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing the free version of Panda Antivirus and I have a folder with some samples of malware in it, eight in total. We're going to test to see how well it does or does not do as far as protecting the computer against these eight samples. Now just a brief overview of the procedure. In a moment I'm going to enable Panda Antivirus. We're going to let it sit for just a moment, see if it detects anything, and then we'll run a full system scan, then scan the uh, samples folder directly, and then if there's anything left, we'll try to execute it and see if Panda can stop it. Now, I'll also mention that Panda and Windows 10 are both up to date, and so far, Panda has not yet detected anything. So we're going to go ahead and start a scan, do a full system scan, and then we'll be back with the results here in just a moment. All right, the scan has completed, and it looks like we have seven results detected, so we'll go ahead and take action here. Let's actually check the details real quick. And it looks like it's already taken action for us, so that's, that's perfect. Now at this point, we're going to go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. Let's just check the results. Yeah, so we do have just one left in there. So let's go ahead and scan it and see what happens. And it still has not detected it. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and try to execute it and see if it will or will not detect it. And it looks like it did detect it. So it looks like it's detecting it, but it has not removed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer and then we're going to run some second opinion scans and be back with those results as well. After the computer restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes and it came back with one result detected. So we'll go ahead and quarantine it. I ran a scan with MZSoft and it also came back clean with zero results detected. I also ran a scan with Hitman Pro and it came back with one result detected. And last, I ran a scan with Zamana, which also came back clean with no results detected. So just to recap again, we started with eight samples of malware. On the initial, on the initial system scan, Panda detected seven of those eight. And then kind of interesting thing happened when we tried to execute that last one. It prevented it from executing, but it did not remove the installer. And that's why Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro came back with positive detections because it, that installer was still there, but the actual execution was stopped. One thing I do want to draw your attention to is this message right here that popped up earlier in the video. Basically, if you click on that step-by-step -step guide button, it takes you to a web page that lets you know and walks you through how to remove the infection, which is kind of odd to me because virtually every other program I've tested, if it has a positive detection, it just automatically quarantines or removes that piece of malware. In this case though, it looks like they want you to do it manually rather than automatically. So it's kind of like it had 100% detection, but kind of didn't because it didn't remove it. So you can kind of take those results the way you want to. Overall though, it did do a pretty good job. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of malware test. There are many, many different types of malware tests. And so you can't determine just off this one test that this is a really good or really bad antivirus. You have to do many different types of tests. But again, in this specific test, it didn't do too bad. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.